Cat here. Uh, happy Halloween, or whatever time in October it is when I put this video up. Uh, and the entire month of October is Halloween to me, so we'll go with that. Uh, it's a little dark in here because it's raining outside, uh, so I hope you can actually see me. We'll find out later. Um, today we are going to try one of these Walmart kits. And I see them every time I go to Walmart and I always wonder if they're any good. So this one is, uh, chocolate pumpkin cookies, that, or sandwich cookies, so they got some orange food to put in it. It, uh, comes with the cookie mix, the orange goo to put in the middle, and for some weird reason, a piping bag that you have no use for whatsoever because you can just cut the tip off that thing. And the cookie cutter, now the cookie cutter's got two sides, so you can put your pumpkin and you can cut out the face. And what we're going to need is four tablespoons of room temperature butter and one egg and some parchment paper. And that's pretty much it. So that, uh, it says use great value. Uh, I say use whichever brand you have, but uh, specifically says great value. So tough. I don't think that's the kind of butter we got. Okay, so first thing you're going to do. Take your cookie mix and your butter and your egg and mix it all up. You're doing that right, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, just double check. not using the mixing bowl because there's no sense in dirtying it all up or something like this. But it is a good reason to use the room temperature butter because mixing cold butter by hand is a pain in the butt. <laughs> this is YouTube, family friendly. Not intended for children, but still family friendly. It's a fine line that makes you walk. If it's intended for children, you can't get any damn money off ads. If you need a fork. Yeah, I kind of do need a fork, don't I? Alright, so you got it all mixed together. Possibly with help from an outside person. <laughs> um, no need to chill or anything like that. You're just going to roll it out and it says do it on parchment paper. It says nothing about flour. Me and rolling pins have a bit of a checkered history. I, I think a French one works better for me. That's why I don't hold it by the handle sometimes. We're now going to move to the cookie sheet and cut them out on the cookie sheet. So we're just going to go ahead and cut them out and then we're going to remove the excess and then put them in the oven. does mean you're going to have to cut them out, keeping in mind how far apart you need them to be while they bake. The problem is, as the dough gets worked with, it gets warmer and then yeah. it gets stickier. You can always put it in the refrigerator, but 
I figure we'll just get out the other baking sheet uh -huh. to do the rest of them. That makes sense. Because I can cut out less of them doing it this way because I have to keep in mind how far apart they need to be when they bake. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Faces. Or you could always use flour. The only reason we're not is because it didn't ask for it. We're trying to see how good the kit is. I guess we got to follow the directions. Unless I get sick of it. toothpick to pull these out because that seems to be the best way to do it. What are you munching on over there? Chopped rocks. Go ahead. All right, so here's what we got, and there's seven of them. Then we're going to try to cut out an equal amount of just pumpkins without the jack-o'-lantern face for the bottom of the cookies. And we got to put them in the 350-degree oven for 7 to 11 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll out the pumpkins, and we'll be back in a minute. Now, I did actually read the... Well, Mom actually read the instructions a little more clearly, and uh, it does say that if it's too sticky, you can use flour or baking, baking, flour or cocoa powder in order to uh, keep it from sticking. So we've got some cocoa powder on it this time, and hopefully this batch will come out better. Easier. Huh? Yeah, easier. Hopefully it'll come off easier. Except for the fact that... You were the one rolling it out. <laughs> Hold up in there. You're only going to get six, but that's okay. We can make the seventh out of the extra. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we went ahead and cut out our backs, and we managed to get enough for two more cookies, and then we just smushed up the rest of it because that's what you do when you have extra dough. <laughs> if you bake cookies, you know that. All right, so we're still waiting for the other ones to come out of the oven. Once that's done, we'll put these ones in the oven, and uh, we'll go from there. So we've got enough for nine cookies here. Take our regular pumpkins and lay them down on some parchment paper. We got our jack lantern faces up here, and everything is all nice and cool. Frosting. 
got that part where it is designed specifically so you can do that. Just snip off the tip of it. Hopefully it's too much or too little. I would do a little on each cookie too to see how much you got. All right. Get off me. This rag over if you need it. Take jack lantern faces and squish them on there. Good thing it'll hold together because of the goo. We're using lamb tips, or really any sort of cut. We did a lot of testing, and this seems to be their favorite reinforcement. That will be the reward for the emergency recall. Security's been notified to bring the things out. Hunter, you've been the lower reinforcement. Some of them are sticking their tongue out at us. I noticed that. Here's one of your favorites. And put that in the sink. Alright. Alright, there you go. Chocolate jack o' lantern. Halloween cookies from the uh, chocolate cookie kit from Walmart. Um, we tasted some of the cookie, and it's pretty good. It's not very sweet, but the stuff in the middle I just tasted is, is definitely very sweet, so it should work out pretty well. All right, so I, I definitely would say it's, it's not a bad kit. I don't remember how much it cost you, Mom. Mm, I think it was under $3. All right, so yeah, for under 3 bucks, something you can do with your kids, or if you're just like me and you like to do childish things. <laughs> Uh, for a nice little treat, you can get yourself nine cookies, uh, and uh, it's it's a fun experience. It can be a little bit of a pain, so if you, if you don't want to do the meticulous pulling out the the little eyes and stuff, it might not be for you, but uh, I, don't, I think it was a pretty nice little Halloween treat. So, anyway, uh, let me know what you think, and, uh, you, you know, uh, leave a like if you feel like it. And... <laughs> We'll probably have these gone in no time because they didn't make very much. But um, other than that, uh, like I said, um, have a happy Halloween. And uh, until next time, this is Evil Black Cat wishing you love, luck, and legendaries. Later.